We will look at some of the cases in flux because of Justice Scalia's death. But first, a man who knew him well, Texas Supreme Court Chief Justice Nathan Heck, has been a personal friend of Justice Scalia for 25 years. In fact, Scalia came to Texas to officially swear Heck in for his latest term. I spoke a short time ago with Justice Heck. Justice Heck, you were a personal friend of Antonin Scalia. I was. Stunning news. Yes, it is. It was a great loss for those of us who knew and loved him personally and uh, for, for the country. He was eloquent. Uh, he was brilliant. Uh, he wrote powerfully. Uh, he understood the role of judges should be to um, adhere to the words chosen by the people in the Constitution and the words chosen by uh, their representatives and statutes um, and was um, just a very forceful uh, advocate for that. Will his writings and have his writings influence conservative judicial thought in this country? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I can't think of anybody in history uh, that has had a more powerful influence uh, on conservative legal thinking than Antonin Scalia. For whatever reason, should they not fill that seat this year, and there are only eight justices, what will that do to the decision making and the balance on the court this year? Uh, most importantly, when a case, uh, when the court divides 4 4, the lower court decision is affirmed. So it will stand. Sometimes there are cases there now uh, that, that will help the conservative issues. There are also cases that that will help the other side.